As a, as a professional, how would you describe your warm-up routine? <laughs> Non-existent. <laughs> So, two bacon baps, yeah? Got text. That's Long Island, that way. It's just a picture for a MasterCard um, invite to the Open. So, 2010, take a look, Eddie Peckle. Right, thanks for joining the Average Golfer and uh, Average Golf Pro. Yeah, Lewis is back on the channel, so great to have Lewis back. We've took a bit of a journey down. We're at Royal St. David's Golf Club. We're looking for some dry golf, mate. Yeah. It looks Pretty like long. we're going to find it. It's been a long time since we've been out. No, it's great to have Lewis back and yeah. uh, can't wait to get out there, mate. Let's go and see if this is a perfect links golf club for, uh, for this, this crappy weather. This crappy weather. Yeah. Immortal words, we've missed all that. <laughs> I think, and we're talking about sim, is that I, what I think is interesting is the fact that how many non-contracted players have chose to play it. And straight away, you think when you're a non-contract player, you can go to it any time, can't you? Mm. Yeah. I think, I'm baffled by that, actually, because surely the benefit of being a non-contract player is you get used to something and you don't have to change, you're not contractually obliged. Does that and, say a lot about sim, though? How yeah, that find yeah, it? yeah, yeah, I've got to, got to say that, yeah. There's been some movers and shakers, hasn't there, with equipment? Yeah. Well, I did my initial review, and it was kind of, I said it was one of the bits that I actually did like. I'm playing with it today. But I've got to admit, the more I've played with it, it's been a real steady performer, I would say. It's stable yeah. performer, not yeah. steady. It really does well. <clears throat> and for an average golfer, yeah. it seems to be, I whatever I put on it, it does all right. It seems to be their sort of strap line this year is they've not gone groundbreaking. But their unique selling point is it's stable. You know, it, it's designed to go to go straighter. You know, well, in which terms is, of shape and motion, it's about it was about aerodynamics and club speed. I can't to vouch for any of that, but yeah. it's definitely. I think a little bit more stable would be our our review, wouldn't it? Stable in motion. <laughs> Should have gone, but it's not quite as exciting. I'll tell you what is good though, the bacon bussy. Yeah. Ah. Is that the warm up? Done, mate. Oh. Done. How would you describe the uh, your hat game? Not strong. <laughs> not not strong. But the words you just used to me is what I was after. Yeah. Yeah. I look like I've got a condom on, don't I? On my head. I mean, Co comments down below. <coughs> Louis hat game. I don't know why I'm talking. I've had the same hat on for three months, tattooed to my head. Look at though it's played, that's well over shot. Right, Lou, I'm going to give a old uh, three-wood Maverick Max a dig. You're looking forward to this, aren't you? So well, you're yeah. Indoors and you like it. I've, I've, I've tested it on course, I liked it, but for me, but I've not played, I've got a bag together today, which with sort of the products that I think, so Sim Driver, yeah. standard I like, with that particular shaft. 
and I like this three wood setup. I think it's a real average golfer's yeah, club. I think it's a lot of Maverick Max, Maverick bigger Max. head. Slightly more, it's sort of more forgiving. More forgiving. Yeah, way further back. And from this position. Look whew, at the launch on that. That's incredible, that, isn't it? That's right at the flag as well. It wasn't the best light. Whoa, hello. Oh, that's caught the front edge. Yeah. That was a great shot. But that's what it does. It did it, it, did it in the testing that You've I did. 250 yards in the winter, here. you? Yeah, and it's carried along a lot of it. Yeah. We're not playing a lot of breeze today, it's fairly still, but what it does, it picks the ball up really easily, gives it an unreal ball flight that defies the loft. I mean, a 15 degree loft and that thing's gone up. It's like a seven iron flight. Yeah. Right, we're on a bit of, uh, we're on the ninth hole. And uh, what I want to say first of all is about the condition of the course. It's, uh, we've had a pretty old wicked winter in terms of rain. North Wales has always got its fair share and this place seriously is bone dry. The greens are so firm. We go as far as I say it's fantastic condition. I mean, I, yeah, my audio is on. I can't believe the condition of the greens. It's incredible. Where again in the winds you get used to just throwing that ball just a little bit further and a, a soft, um, soft landing. That ain't happening here today. But anyway, it's a stunning par three this. One, what, 60-ish into the breeze a little bit? Super strike. Stay down that left a little bit. That's pin eye as well. Pin eye, but stay down the left. Just hoping that wind would bring it back, but by club. Lynx golf is obviously perfect for uh, winter months, but this is a, f a fine old example of it, isn't it? All their work they're doing as well, you can see there's a lot of re and stuff going on, which is yep. it's only going to make it better again come the spring. Try to be cute with that little bit of a knockdown. It's quite, it's just front edge. Well, right? Yeah. Should we talk about that? I think we should talk about that before, Sim, shouldn't we? What? <coughs> when you put your hand in your golf bag to find the tees. Are you recording? And it goes, yeah, I'm recording. And it goes straight up your nail. It's not the best finger in the it's world. It's not the best finger in the yeah. world, no. And to be fair, it's, it's a good job the audio wasn't on. <laughs> I'd definitely kick, not, not suitable for kids. <laughs> Yeah, I've just had a bit of a bit of an injury. This is one of the toughest driving holes you'll ever stand on. Ah, Louis says no, it's not. That's it. Do you know what? That's quite annoying. That's the best drive you've hit today. Yeah. All right. It was stroke. Is this? Is this one? Yes. There stroke you go. One, this one. I had a feeling it was. It's not the most inviting tee shot, is it? No, no, not at all. It's. Uh... It's into the breeze, and it, I think this is the prevailing. Yeah, it's always into, isn't it? Uh, I think that's what prevailing means. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know what's going to happen to a smart ass, don't you? This is going. Oh dear. And um, <laughs> why do you keep? How's, how's your finger, mate? Why do you keep? How's your finger? <laughs> how's your yeah. finger? Oh god. Well, I almost sense where this is going. Did it bounce? Just bounce into that. Into it just that stayed, didn't cut at all. Yeah, yeah. I was just going to say, no one. <laughs> it's a great little par three. As you say, in terms of uh, ace cam, it doesn't look a lot, does it? And I've just changed clubs, so I don't know whether I've gone. Yeah, not too bad. Tugged it a little bit down the left, but it's kicked in off the left-hand side. Great par three. Right, Ali. Right, Ali. Oh, that could be ace cam. I'll tell you what, it is close. The question is, we don't know how close.
What I want to know, Lou, is, uh, let me just hold this. <laughs> You've been good if I add up. I want to know your opinion. The next call I want to know about is the CBX. This is two, isn't it? CBX two. I want your opinion as a, an elite golfer of CBX wedges from Cleveland. Would have been nice. That shallow put you off at all? No. The one that was literally my body running the length and breadth of the hole. It's a shadow from that CBX wedge. Oh, mate, tell me that microphone's on. Oh, class. That's what we need. I'll tell you what you can give me a bit of advice in and I don't know whether this will be relative to any other golfer but I've been trying to play a chip shot where keeping me sort of around the body keeping yeah, me arms just fairly on that on that previous hole you just tried that one didn't you yeah just get your hands a little bit lower that's all I'd say you see a little bit lower again yeah there you go that's better that's the shot I've been trying to play yeah to be honest with you, it's been okay um, a bit more of a better contact but hands lower yeah what about the face? Does the face stay square or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to be. You, you, you do the, the pass on the inside. That's fine. Keep it nice and square. Oh, there really? you go. Chris. Good. And see how it grabs as well. A bit of control there, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Very good. So hands a bit lower for that type of shot. Yeah, definitely. For what reason though? If I'm because I'm a bit more upright normally, maybe a bit more. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be straight. more specific to you. Um, a couple. Of, there's just a little bit. Your heel of the club was sitting a little bit. Uh, high off the ground there. Yeah. Which for that type of shot you're trying to play, you know your contact wasn't as clean as what we'd like. So you just you, that was just specific to you. Yeah, Hands yeah. a little bit lower if you're going to put it on the inside. Wow. Keep that club face nice and square. You're going to notice it a little bit lower on the blade, but you're going to get loads of spin. And what are your um, whilst we're on the subject, what are your thoughts on CBX wedges? Um, From a professional, you know, a, a, you know, a, a, oh, a, think, whatever you call it. I think give give them a go. Yeah. Them, I think give them a go. It's a, it's a massive face visually, isn't it? That's the first thing. When you put it down, you're not gonna. It's not the. I wouldn't say it's not inviting because it is because it's massive. But for the better player, you're gonna go. Nah, don't like it. You know, you're gonna go straight to Voki or Magdari or whatever Pink Glide. Or... Do you think even other people? Because I'll tell I'll tell you I'll tell everybody a story, not yeah. just you. I did the review of the CBX version one, whatever yeah, you called. Yeah. Uh, Never knew anything about the product to be honest with you. Picked it up in the bay, hit it, and I thought, you know what, that sort of that wide sole, that bounce, took it out on the course really good. And I came back into uh, the the four golf. Yeah. And I said, you know what, these wedges are brilliant. And that, that was a, a, a typical response. Yeah. I swear to God, this is true, right? Two weeks ago, I'm filming down at Conway, and one of the pros was on the opposite fairway. And I went over and we had a chat. I played the final few holes with him. Have a guess what wedges he had in his bag. CBX. CBX two. Reason being, he just said you can't go wrong with them. That's a he's a that's a pro by the way. That's yeah, a yeah, pro. yeah, yeah. Because I understand and I think I fully I, understand the logic. Because seriously, he had, yeah. he had CBX two. Honestly, when well, you can ask him. Yeah. I'm not going to shout him out on the. Yeah, yeah. I I think it's a, yo. The, I like seeing people come for lessons or fittings and stuff like that who have got. Um, uh, pitching wedge, gap wedge, sand wedge in the same set. You know, they've got game improvement clubs, bigger head. Carry on with them. 
you carry on with yeah, them, yeah. you know, which is basically what the CVX it is. is. It's yeah. carrying on from an, a normal game improvement iron, they're just taking that into wedges. It's, it's, it's a game improvement wedge, yeah, yeah, exactly. Because really, you you've got to be so precise with a normal wedge, you know, the strike point's got to be low on the face, essentially, it's a bladed club. Yeah, you know, well, we mentioned it earlier on, club. and I'll make this very brief now about the CVX, but earlier on, I had a shot and if I'm honest with you, I'd have probably dug in with a traditional blade type wedge. Yeah. That little bit of bounce. It certainly wouldn't have got to where it got. The no, result was we far commented better. on it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, interesting, it's, interesting. You, no one can forego that, you know, hit, miss hitting it close, can no. they? No, no. No, I'll take that any time. That's it. Right, Lou, it's on you. There is a match going on, but uh, I'm getting beat, so it's yeah. not. I'm not getting. We're, we're, he's two up, and what are we on? 16. So good old this one, isn't I it? Need to win this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What talking of like? I mean, when, when I'm too down. But talking of old timers, we've we've just we've just <laughs> had a chat, haven't we, about Westwood winning yesterday? Yeah. And what people think of Westwood winning yesterday? You know, someone in the late forties winning. Yeah. You know, how, old, how old is he? He's forty-six, so he's mid forties. Wow. Really. Yeah, but, but to be depend. honest, with me, he's you know he, he's, he, Ernie Els Champions Tour, or whatever it's called. You know, yeah, I mean, yeah. don't know what he knows behind but, Ernie, but yeah. Um, the one big thing was there was about eight people in the field, wasn't there, that weren't born when he won his first event. That's, really? that's impressive, isn't it? Wow. Four, he's yeah. won in four decades. Yeah. First player to do so. Although I have. Wolfie medal. Oh, what a ball. Oh, so, a flight on that one. one of the things I read, that's a super drive. It looks like it's the end of the match. That, was, so, a, that it, was the thing that we're, yeah, we're, yeah, which it, was most interesting for me is about his, he's working with Robert Rock. Yeah on his technique yeah uh, and you know it's probably something that most people could work on which and is he, what he, he kind of touched on it that he's just going back to basics just getting more width in his backswing yeah so getting a little bit more width at the top a little bit more width in his downswing to the ball and how many golfers does that apply to is that oh, an issue with a lot i mean the you know i'd love to if any other coaches are watching i'm going to say 95 percent of amateur Have that golfers issue. Could, could could do with more i'll tell you what i'd like to ask you this week we've done this video a bit different this week so you've yeah. got an element of what i'm trying to do is develop something over a half hour you get to see a bit of a golf course not necessarily me versus playing against uh, in, in a competitive element but a little bit of a chat on different pieces that there is another potential sort of on course lesson that we could perhaps look at lewis giving yeah so yeah definitely. comments down below uh, what have you thought of today's video in that sort of um in the structure of it but also like to hear out how many would like to see some more coaching elements from lou within this yeah. kind of structure i'm fine because i've got no issues so i think I think, apart I think from the fact i think it suits us in the 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 less competitive the better <laughs> yeah we just get a bit <laughs> we don't concentrate that's another good one with that I, I go as far as to say again, probably not your best swing, but you're in no. the you're in the middle yeah. of the fairway again. Yeah, that's where it's performed really well. But I'm I am to be fair, I was a bit disappointed there because I'm about thirty yards behind you. A bit more like the pitch as well. If you feel as though it's just the the, just the hands are low, if you can just drop it on the inside a little bit, you know, keep keep that club on the inside with the same amount. There you go, with the same amount of rotation. Oh, Lou. That's the one, isn't it? That's beautiful. Straight down it. That's all. Look at the look at the pose I'm holding here. So I stop. That's a ripper, that means. Yeah. The old Danny Bong will have to call them through. Tell you what, I'm not as young as I used to be, you know. <sighs> yeah, good day, isn't it? Oh, I don't get any ideas. I'm just my back's killing me. Yeah, it's been a gorgeous day. In fact, it's got more. It's it's nicer now than it was when we started off. Actually, it's got uh, there's clear blue skies. Course down here, ice. Definition wise, this is as good as I've seen Royal Saint David's. Yeah. And, it, and it's, uh, I don't know what it is, January the something, 20th or something. But seriously, it's been in superb condition. Dry. Dry. The greens have surprised me a lot. Yeah. But it's that definition element has been good. 
We've had it easy because the wind can be, uh, as with any links, a killer. And we've had it easy in that sense, but it's been enjoyable. It's a brute in the wind, but yeah. it's been such an enjoyable day, hasn't it? Yeah, no, hats off yeah. to Royal St. David's. Doing a great job, the uh, Greens team here. Uh, yeah, massive... Massive shout out to them. But in terms of the video itself, something a little bit different. Always try and mix it up on a channel. But I like the idea of Lewis. We sort of, I had an issue with a little bit of, uh, with my swing, of which I was asking Lewis to give me some uh, advice on. And I thought, well, why don't we throw in that into the video itself? And it's something that we could do perhaps a little bit more of. So, uh, like I said on the previous clip, comments down below on what you thought of the structure of the video. And if you enjoyed uh, seeing a golf course, a little bit of instruction. What you'd like instruction on, what you're struggling with. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Especially this time of year, if you're working on something, be good to... Uh, Gives us the content. Absolutely. Anyway, I'm going to sit here and just... Uh, we're going to play 18, and uh, it's 200-yard par 3. It's a great closing hole. And uh, we'll see who comes out on top, because I managed to claw my way back to uh, one down going up 18, would you believe? I don't like 17. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, thank you to uh, Royal St. David's Golf Club, or Harlech, as I like to call it, and... Uh, We'll see you soon. Selfie game strong there, mate. Did you see this? Can you smile? It's moody, mate. Does that, that, this is moody. Watch, oh, here we go. There was half a pout in that. Which half? <laughs> I'm rocking. I'm waiting for the pounce. <laughs>